Can you talk a little bit about why you guys have been successful on the road in the Big Ten this year? We all know how difficult that is and how maybe you guys have struggled a little bit in the past, but what, is, what have been the differences for you this year? Um, Coach always gives us a game sheet, uh, and he shows us. And the top three things that come to my mind is how well we're defending the, uh, our opponent's field goal, their field goal percentage, I think, uh, before um, our last game was 39. Their three point was just under 31, and we were plus one in the rebounding margin over those uh, over our winning streak. I think those three three things right there, defending, rebounding, really have helped us win. Everybody's going to have ups and downs over the course of a season, but when you kind of find your mojo or whatever you want to call it, what do you think contributes to that? Why do you think you're playing the way that you are? right now? Um, I think it's the confidence that Coach has in me. Coach has been, uh, he spends a lot of time checking in with my mindset. He texted me four hours after the game, you know, making sure that my mindset hasn't changed from the first time I started or whenever, the start of the season. You know, it's the same mindset that I have. And also the confidence in Lamar and my point guards and giving me the ball when they see my numbers. So just really the confidence that the program has in me right now. How hard is it for you specifically to prepare for Purdue when they've got two bigs in, in Williams and Harms who play so differently and, and are honestly physically so different? Um, I, I like to call Big Ten the league of the big, of the bigs. Uh, big Ten has uh, a great big man. So I've seen a, a guy like Williams and I've seen a guy like Arms. And, you know, they're great players and I'm excited to play against them. But I think uh, over all my Big Ten career, I've seen bigs that play just like them, have the same tendencies. So I think I've been preparing for those two for three years now. John, you've played enough in the Big Ten now to know how quickly things can change in this conference. So I'm just curious, given where Penn State is right now, how do you go about assessing your team's spot in the conference and going, you know, the Big Ten tournament's a few weeks away now? Yeah, don't stop. Uh, as Coach is saying, I stole that from him. but. Lamar texted our group chat uh, 11 o'clock this morning. He said, don't stop. Like, we don't have time to stop. Practice is going to be just as hard as it has been if we were 0-7 or 0-6 in the past couple games. So just once again, it goes back to that mindset. Just don't stop. Keep playing. Things change in the Big Ten, as you know, just like that. So just keep playing. Don't stop. From way up on high in the Jordan Center, it looked like you played pretty good defense this past weekend, but when a guy puts up those kinds of numbers, but you feel like it, it seems like there's a certain inevitability that he's going to get his mm -hmm. to a certain extent. How do you evaluate how you guys did on a guy like that where it looked like you were playing him pretty well, but he still ultimately kind of gets his? Right. First, I want to say Toru, I mean, he's a great player. He's a lottery uh, pick. His potential's through the roof, and I mean, he gets things done. He also produces, and I think uh, Minnesota's coach, they really saw that, so he made sure he touched the ball every possession. He, like his uh, usage rate, I mean, he makes the right play. He's gonna go, he's gonna look for the foul, he's gonna finish at the rim. So just how, how can I maybe make him walk once or twice? How can I steal the ball from him? How can we maybe double him one possession to keep him thinking, make it difficult for him? But I mean, El is a great player. He, he, as I said before, the, the league of the bigs. <laughs> Any other questions for John? Is uh, does your social circle expand during a time like this? Like, is it is it hard to to keep things normal when you know? Obviously, everybody loves a winner and wants right, to, you uh, know. Yeah, yeah uh, you can find that from season to season. Everyone does love a winner, so I try to keep the people that have been there for me when I was losing, when we were down. I'll keep those people. If someone wants to congratulate me, I'm going to shake their hand, look them in the eye, and say thank you. I appreciate all the support. But I'm, my inner circle hasn't changed. You know, my, my family and then those that have been with me for the past five, six years with my basketball career. But yeah, staying off social media has definitely helped uh, st uh, keeping away from like the whatever's out there, you know. It's really, it's it's easy to, Coach always says, don't fall prey to the attention, you know. Is, 
do you encourage your teammates to do the same thing? To, <laughs> I, I'm, obviously, he he does. That's his message. But yeah. um, um, how hard I is mean, it? I mean, I say I I never have told anyone to do it because it's it's their life. I mean, you can do what you want, but I think just uh, any way that you can limit distractions can help. Um, maybe you're not even looking at what people are saying about you on social media. You know, it's just. Any way that you can limit those distractions, limit the noise from the outside, and listen to Coach's message, listen to Lamar's message, which is helping us win. You know? John, given the team's success so far this season, how do you prevent the goals that you set out in the beginning of the season from changing as you jump to the 13th best team in the country, things like that? How do you prevent the goals from changing? Yeah, staying in the moment. Um, always thinking about what, what I have to do today. Today I have to go practice, have to go defend, rebound against Mike. I mean, that doesn't change. I have to go talk on defense, you know, just staying in each moment and uh, never getting ahead of yourself, never looking at the what ifs. I try to stay as far as far away as I can from the what ifs because the what ifs will change into the opposite of what ifs very quick.